So we just got all the camera gear we need for 2019. Looking forward to a massive year of real estate and also season two of the vlog. Let's go. <laughs> But if you close your eyes Looking at the market at the end of 2018, it was very clear that properties had come back in value. However, the properties that did exceptionally well were properties that had a point of difference, that there was nothing else like them in the current market. The Peel Street project was two ultra-modern townhouses that had been built to a specification that had not been seen anywhere else in the market. So when the buyers found them, they had to have them. All around the world, she be following me. So we have just booked in a repeat inspection at Colombo Street, so hopefully we're going to get that one sold. And we are now going to have a look at a development site that we've got listed. It's four townhouses, one is sold, and we're just going along to have a check of the progress, see how it's all going. Um, there's a couple of buyers inquiring on it at the moment, so we need to know when it's going to be done. Okay, so we're on our way down to Victory Street now, which is sold, thankfully. First one for 2019. Very, very happy to have one away straight away, second day back. I'm putting the camera down because this person's so going to be like looking at us. <laughs> I get so nervous at the lights, hang on. <laughs> Dion's getting all self-conscious. We've got the crotch camera going now. <laughs> Unbelievable. It just looks weird if people like got a camera out of the car. <clears throat> like he's looking at us. You gotta, you gotta stop worrying what people think, Dion. Yeah. What's the random guy in the car gonna do to you just because you're filming? Maybe just you should judged. film him. No, see what he says. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> What's the difference between eating them and snails, though? Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone raves about snails. When am I gonna get a sponsorship deal with Red Bull? We were talking about I mean, day. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if the owner of Red Bull had kids, I've put them through college. They should have a Red Bull real estate. They should. Department Red Bull, range. you should sponsor a real estate agent and that person should be me. to the city to meet up with one of my clients, Renato, that I've had for a while. Uh, he owns a company that does commercial fit outs and that sort of stuff, so um, he does a bit of real estate investing as well, so he's going to meet him for lunch. I think it's up here. I've never actually been to his office before. I think, I think it's somewhere here. Hey, I think I'm downstairs. 11.19, yeah. Cool, all right, bye. I didn't film any more of my lunch with Renato, but I am here at the open house for Walter Street now. Last year, I would say, is the biggest learning curve I've ever had in my entire career. Like, over the last four years, I literally learned more last year in this environment with the market being down than I learned in any of the other years. So, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who did watch the vlog last year. And of course, I want to do it bigger and better this year. If you are interested in real estate, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing another one of these every single week for this year. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. But if you close your eyes